Yo, what's going on guys, Shulky Leg here, and today I'm going to teach you how to root the Moto X. Um, yeah, I have rooted it successfully. Uh, as you can see, like, by this, you already can tell that it is rooted. And yeah, I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's a pretty simple method. Uh, I didn't find any uh, on how to root this exact model, which is a XT1092. So I'm going to teach you how I did it. So uh, what you have to do first is to have your bootloader unlocked. If you don't have it unlocked, don't do it. Uh, it will break your device or it might it might even not work. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to teach you step by step. So first off, you have to download this four uh, files. Uh, I'll put the links in the description. I have them here already. Uh, so you have the TWRP, which is the custom recovery um, yeah it's here you click on primary recommended and download the latest one uh, when you download it just rename it to TWRP only uh, and then you will need also these two files which is the uh, for the XT1092 that one is my version because it's the European version and then we have these two uh, which is North American South America I I'm not sure really not sure but I know this one is from South America this one I'm not sure I, I know it's the pure edition but yeah uh, and the uh, uh, root thing uh, so you will need these two which is, are these two that I have and you will also need the, the Motorola drivers without this you won't be able to do anything and you'll need the minimal ADB and fast boot which is under 2 megabytes, you click here and you install it. I install it to my desktop, which is here. And yeah, now let's get started. So, um, what you have to do first of all, you will have to have your bootloader unlocked, and then after that, you will have to put these two files on your internal storage of your phone. So, what do you have to do? So, you will have to connect your Moto X to your computer with a USB cable that's what I'm going to do now so yeah now that it is connected um, you will have to enable USB debug debugging which is here on settings then you go to about phone and you click on build number and you have developer options on developer options you have to enable USB debugging and after that you come here USB for charging, you change that to transfer files. So now on transfer files, you go to your file explorer. Here on uh, XT1092, internal storage. And you put those two files, the root boot and the update super SU, to the internal storage. Mine's, mine's already here, these two. So I don't have to do anything of these. So yeah, you extract it. So uh, now what you have to do is we're going to disconnect it from the USB cable and then you will power off your phone. So after it is powered off, you are going to uh, hold the, you are going to go on fast boot mode, which you have to hold the power button and the volume down button for three seconds or two seconds. So yeah. Now that you are in fast boot mode, uh, you have to connect your USB cable again to your computer. Yeah, so it is connected, USB connected. Now what you have to do is uh, go into your ADB and fast boot and put the TWRP here inside. Now you click on shift and the, the right button on your mouse. So shift and the right button. And now you open command prompt here, command window, and you type in fast boot. which is this thing uh, then flash which is basically install then recovery which is what you're going to install 
and then the, the name of the file you are going to install. So twrp.ing. ING is the type of file. Uh, if you don't want to be writing this word, uh, letter, by letter by letter, there is on the TWRP website, the one that it's in the description. There's everything here. Fastboot flash recovery TWRP.IMG. And then uh, you just click enter and it will install. Mine is already installed, so yeah. Then after that, you're going to recovery. So you click on volume down and then volume up. And it will boot into the recovery, which is TWRP, Team Win Recovery Project. Um, and now we will be installing the root. Uh, so you just go on install. You go down and choose the root. And the 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 super su now you swipe to flash it flashes then you will wipe the ca cache and cache and dalvik which should, should be an option right there and then you just reboot your system and you're done um there should be super su installed as well as you have root uh, and and this is the 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 method that will not break your phone like definitely it's, it's the most safe way and yeah so hope you guys like the tutorial if you have any doubts uh, you can just comment down below I answer to the to the comments I I can you know and um, yeah so basically that's it uh, hope you like this video uh, this method al also works with the other um, versions you just have to uh, download the right ones so if you live in Europe this should be yours uh, oh yeah and uh, whenever you you connect yours to the computer uh, the name that's in here is the name of your uh, is the model of your uh, Moto X so yeah hope you guys uh, like the video thanks for watching and see you next time